people uh, today i said two uh, two fast paper questions right so that to get the idea that uh, by this lesson uh, actually this lesson is very easy one when you do the fast paper sums you will realize that okay but people uh, after this discussion uh, till we do another few classes under this trigonometry paper question discussions don't try the past paper sums understood <laughs> right that is because of we must train uh, by doing more sums in order to work out all possible questions in past papers right if you try uh, the questions in past papers people sometimes uh, you will not be able to answer them properly that occasion you might take an idea that this uh, question is bit difficult don't uh, give such message to your mind that is people little bit dangerous in the future understand so therefore uh, today we temporarily stop this uh, lesson and uh, after another uh, two or three months people we come back to this lesson to discuss some more uh, complicated questions after that people you can try any question i am sure that you will be able to do any question in past papers right and uh, next week people i am going to start another new lesson that will be an applied lesson i'll inform you uh, tomorrow what will be the next lesson okay and uh, we got the message that uh, the for the private classes tuition classes the government uh, of course uh, lifted the ban uh, so therefore uh, most of the time uh, first of november onwards we will be able to start the uh, physical classes so then uh, even though we start the physical classes people remember we keep this online class till your 2023 aerial examination so therefore uh, this online class people permanent online class this will be continuing till your aerial examination so therefore those who are willing to join the physical classes right they can join the physical class others uh, they can stay here in the online class okay uh, that is the summary people and the updates so far i think now uh, we have been doing this uh, lesson uh, more than uh, uh two and a half months uh, and then of course i think you get a particular idea about the trigonometry i took uh, this much time people this is very important one all right people uh then uh, i am sure that in the near future when you do the other lessons will, uh, which will be involved in trigonometry you will find very comfort understand people this is very important lesson i think according to my knowledge i did all the theories and some more sums only i must do i take a little time to discuss those completed sums because time fact is very important people to our life some occasions the time will solve our unsolved past what questions and issues so like that people you need a particular time to analyze these things you have learned so far with the time factor people uh, we can give more solutions so that is why i take some time okay right people now today i suppose to start the question uh, it is the 2017 question i uh, actually evening i put this 2017 and uh, 2020 the last year uh, paper questions to the group i think everybody has got that okay if not i can write the question on the board people and the other thing is uh, for the next week class i am going to uh, put you another schedule meeting in that schedule meeting i am asking uh, your address in it okay when you fill that uh, when you register people you have to fill you no know, some information you have to provide so among that <coughs> information people i am going to include your home address so therefore your uh, name with initials and clearly your home address uh, you have to uh, write there uh, because i am going to post your tut uh, next uh, week onwards all the former the previous students also i am going to uh, send you so therefore it's very important uh, to put your home address correctly and uh, be sure to uh, pay, send your payment slip also because i am going to post the tutorial uh, the people regularly attended the class and pay in the fees on the people because this is uh, i have to do because uh, you know uh, we have been doing this class uh, i think we started the <coughs> Uh, first week of april of this year and thereafter of course i didn't consider anything uh, collecting the fees because uh, everybody found difficult time and parents as well as you uh, and people uh, the country uh, you know there were lockdowns two three lockdowns and a very difficult era we passed
So therefore, that location people, education is first. So then as a teacher, I can't ban <clears throat> because of the financial issues, the right of the learning of student, I can't ban as a teacher, I did that one. Now people, uh, some of the students, they have misused that opportunity. Uh, because of that, I thought of uh, <clears throat> doing this one uh, in the regular way after this. So therefore people, uh, this is a kind request. Uh, if you are unable to, uh, there can be financial issues, everybody, everybody in this era, people, you know, financial issues available. Uh, even us, uh, we have actually some, some issues. And uh, if you have some issues, people, uh, let me know. I, we are flexible people. We can uh, actually give you a relief if somebody uh, unable to pay, right? Uh, like that, we are, uh, of course, in the moderate path. Uh, if somebody uh, do not care about these instructions and uh, continuously doing the same thing, people, then, of course, we know uh, they are not in the standard way. So, therefore, uh, we have to take particular decision regarding them. Okay, all right. So then people, uh, today we come to the first question, 2017. Uh, do you have that question with you in the group? I put that one, right? 17 question. People, now I thought of doing these uh, questions uh, in order to give a brave nature to you because uh, after learning the lesson, if you can manage the past paper, some means people, you get a huge uh, glad feeling. So with this uh, glad feeling, people, you can <clears throat> march forward very easily. So then you have good confidence. That confidence is very important, people. Right? We know when we start a, a particular job at our best people, it is uh, said that uh, we have actually finished 50% of that work job at the beginning. So that kind of tale you have heard, I think. So like that people, if you have this uh, an idea people, then uh, very interest, learning the maths is very interest, and then you have a particular hope, right? And this is not uh, no longer what uh, particular dream of getting NAEP pass for maths. So that is why people, I do like this, huh? that uh, that motivation is very important. Okay, <clears throat> right. actually teaching maths this way, online people, a little bit difficult task, but uh, I think uh, all of you, uh, and uh, as well as many people, uh, we, are, uh, we have achieved that uh, difficult task. Okay, all right, people, uh, then uh, we can come to the 2017 uh, question. Uh, if you have that question with you at the moment, uh, if you have taken a, uh, <coughs> a copy, hard copy in the sense of the, the copy of this. Uh, you can uh, go through that one. Others people, sometimes you have only one device uh, with this class, you can't uh, go through that at the moment simultaneously. So therefore, for the help of them, of course, I'm going to write the question taking only two, three minutes, okay? Yeah, so then this is the 2020, uh, 2017 question, people. 2017 question, error paper, right? See now whether you are in that standard in that standard, right? Okay. <clears throat> now the question is this, people. Uh, this is part A. Uh, people hurry up, uh, write the question, uh, part A. Uh, first part, show that. Show that uh, 2 cos 60 minus theta minus cos theta uh, divided by sine theta. We have to prove this is equal to <coughs> root 3, 4, theta greater than 0 degree, less than 90 degree. And number 2, in the quadrilateral, A, B, C, D, shown in the figure, shown in the figure, A, B equals A, D, A, B, C angle is equal to 80 degrees, C, A, D angle, 20 degrees, and BAC angle, 60 degrees. Let ACD angle be alpha, using 
the sign rule for the triangle ABC show that AC by AB, AC divided by AB is equal to 2 cos 40. Typical this triangle is this. A, B, C, D, this angle 20, this angle 60, this angle 80, this angle alpha. A, B, C, D, right? This is C, right? Eighty alpha twenty sixty, right? After here we wrote people. Thereafter, uh, the question given like this. Next, using the sign rule for. Triangle Lady C for Triangle Lady C. Show that AC by AD equals. Sign 20 plus alpha divided by sine alpha. Next one, people. Did you use that? Sine 20 plus alpha equals Two cos forty sign alpha. Hence, show that hence show that I read that we are at the top people again. Cot alpha equals two cos forty minus cos twenty divided by sine twenty. Next part, people. Now using the result in number one above, show that alpha equals 30 degrees. Right, that is the part A. Another one more thing. Part B. So 
solve the equation cos 4x plus sin 4x is equal to cos 2x plus sin 2x. This will people the question. Right. Here's the question, people. Right. Okay, people, now then we we'll start the first one. First one is And people now first one given like this show that hmm? part a first part right two cos 60 minus theta minus cos theta divided by sine theta we have to prove this is equal to people root 3 yeah then i am going to prove it like this hmm? yeah people now this sin theta the denominator i write here and this two i write and i open a bracket okay then you can expand this if you assume this angle 60 as a angle theta as b here what you have is cos a minus b. You know cos a minus b formula, people. What is that? Cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. That way you can first expand that. Right. Cos 60 cos a cos b plus sin a sin b minus cos b. Right, people. Now you know uh, cos sixty half, no? Sine sixty, root three by two. I substitute them here, here and here. And meantime, remove the bracket. Uh, we have to multiply by this two first. Two into cos sixty. Cos sixty is half into cos theta plus two comes here. Two times sine sixty, root three by two sine theta minus cos theta divided by sin theta okay now people you can very clearly understand this two and this two you can cancel down then here we have cos theta term here also minus cos theta then that too you can cancel down like this people right now now this two and this two you can cancel down now what do you have people Numerator, root 3, sine theta, denominator, sine theta. These two you can cancel down. Then we get the first answer, root 3. First answer we get root 3. Right? Yeah. Now people, if I <coughs> give you the max distribution here, you get uh, for the expansion of this cos a minus b, for this part, five marks given. Five marks given. Right? And the simplification, five marks given. And finally, for the answer, five marks given. Then 15 marks you get. Right? For the cos a, min cos a minus b expansion, five marks. And this way up to here. 5 marks and simplifying to the final answer 5 marks. That is how we get marks for this, right? Answers, right? I have got this marking scheme with me at the moment. I use that one to give you these marks, right? Okay, people, now next part. In the quadrilateral, ABCD shown in the figure, AB equals AD, 
ABC angle 80 degrees, CD angle 20 degrees, and BAC angle 60 degrees. Understand? Right. Huh. We'll draw this diagram, people, again. Hmm? We'll draw this diagram. We'll draw this diagram, right? Okay. A, this is B, this is C, this is D. This length and this length being equal. This angle is 60 degrees. This angle is 80 degrees. This angle is alpha. This angle is equal to 20. This is the diagram given, right? Right. The diagram. Now, what is the question given there? All the data people, when you start to work out a question, all right, involving a diagram people, in the in this diagram people, all the given information you have to mark on the diagram. That's very easy people, then they are up to handle the question. Otherwise, if you keep that information in your mind people, when you pay your attention for the other part of the same question, sometimes that kept memory people will erase. That occasion, you will find lack of information. Thereby, you won't get the correct method or idea to work out the question. So therefore, best thing is people, mark all the information on the diagram itself. Then once you see the diagram, you will get that information. No chance of this information going hidden, right? Okay, people, now asking the way of getting the first answer, using the sign rule for the triangle ABC. Uh, ABC triangle is this. ABC triangle is this. And then asking what people? Asking the ratio is C by AB. AC by AB, right? You know the sign rule for a triangle, people. What is the sign rule? Hmm? When we consider the standard notation of the triangle ABC, right? This is even consider A. B, C, this angle is angle A, this angle is angle B, this angle is angle C. This is simple A, simple B, simple C, the sides, right? So then uh, sine rule states people, this side length divided by sine A, hmm? this side length divided by sine B, this side length divided by sine C. This is the sine rule. This rule we have to apply to triangle ABC to get the first answer AC divided by AB. Right. People, you can very easily see here. You know, the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Then here we have 60 and this 80. It is, uh, people, 140. Then this should be 40 degrees. 40 degrees. Understand? Right. Now, I can apply the sine rule to this triangle ABC like this. We need to find the ratio of AC and AB. No, AC length is this. AB length is this. Involving these two sides, 
now we'll apply sin rule and then what can you say a b divided by sin 40 equals what a c divided by sin 80 another one we can write what b c divided b c divided by sin 60 but that part is not important to us in this case to take this answer so therefore we write only the relevant sides include into the sign rule to get this answer understand and then we'll write the sign rule people hmm? we'll write the sign rule final answer when you look at the final answer people you can very easily determine what are the sides of this triangle abc we have to consider to take this answer asking answer is involving ac and ab no then we write the sign rule involving the sides ac and ab right so then we can write by abc triangle by abc triangle we can write ac divided by sin 80 ac divided by sin 80 is equal to ab divided by sin 40 okay then people you can use the cross multiplication like this bring this ab here and sin 80 here then we get this implies ac divided by ab is equal to sin 80 degrees divided by sin 40 okay people you know sin 2a formula sin 2a formula is what people 2 sin a cos a right so then this sin 80 people i can write hmm? sin 80 i can write sin 2 multiplied by 40 this 40 is over there people capital a hmm? yeah right we can apply that result this is like sin 2a a is now 40 then you can write this as how people 2 sin a cos a no then we can write this one how 2 a is 40 now sin 40 into cos 40 divided by people sin 40 this two you can cancel down then we get 2 cos 40 right so this is the first answer we need we get ac divided by ab as 2 cos 40 2 cos 40 right Right, that answer also we got. So then if I give you the marks distribution people, uh, write in this 10 marks even. Hmm? And people, uh, write in this one, five marks given. Uh, write in this way, another five marks given. Get in the final answer, another five marks given. This is how you get the marks. See here. The steps are very important people look at this now suppose now somebody can write this uh, without writing this step the final answer because this uh, this is like uh, very obvious no sign two way form this has then he can write this mentally two sine 40 cos 40 then that sign 40 and this sign 40 he can cancel down mentally then without writing this step uh, he can take this answer directly then people though you get the answer since you don't have this step there, you lose five marks. Definitely five marks. So therefore, people, show in the steps are very important, right? Now see here, when you practice now, at the moment, sometimes uh, uh, when I write this uh, uh, sign two into 40, that means sine 80, uh, two sine 40 cos 40, you take a little time to think how, when, where we get this one. That means by that only we get. But people after another two years, when you just before going to examination, these are very simple things to you. That occasion people no need to take time to think to write this sign 80 like this. Then that occasion only these issues might come. Why people? Without 
write in this tip sometimes this one you can write sin 80 to sin 40 cos 40 that sin 40 we can cancel down with this then we get 2 cos 40 then from this step directly if you write this answer people this five marks you lose understand so therefore i write here the steps and the marks in order to give you the idea that what are the important steps for which at the examination you get marks people now suppose like this if you miss this way some steps suppose in the same question right like this because of your uh, any any reason people sometimes you are teacher huh? suppose now when you are uh, when you are going to another class so right in my class of course people everything i am going to explain because we are going to have a paper class right keep in one year to your a level examination in that paper class step by step all the important things with the receiving the marks i am going to do so therefore you will get nice idea what are the important steps for which we get marks at the examination like this i explained now suppose you don't have this idea from your teacher you didn't get you uh, didn't get this idea now suppose from this step you get this answer directly then you lose five marks suppose in the same question another three places right because there are how many parts of this question first part second part right and some more parts available now suppose at four places this way you did some mistakes then you lose 5 into 4 20 marks then only from this question 20 marks sometimes more than that okay that 20 loss of that 20 marks is because of your negligence you have the subject knowledge but you don't know how to present that at the examination so therefore having the subject knowledge is not enough people right you should be able to present that in accordance with the examination style understand so what they ask from you accordingly you should be able to give that otherwise you won't get marks now what i'm trying to tell you as people now this way suppose 20 20 marks you meaninglessly what drop then like that there are five questions in the part b people for so every question if you lose like this 20 into 5 means 100 Suppose now some because of some other errors and everything, people another 50 marks you lose. Then because of your negligence, people 150 marks approximately you will lose because of your negligence. 150 mark mean people when you work out a full question in part B, the total mark you get is 150. Then people, though you work out all five questions in part B, people one question you have kept avoid to what set off your marks drop because of your negligence that means only one complete question that that amount of marks you receive at the examination people now you reserve for reserve for what huh? your negligence see huh? what a meaningless thing you have done so therefore people meantime you study the subject materials you have to practice how to present your answer at the examination in order to get full marks understand that is very important thing right now you know most of our students they say uh, i wrote all five questions sir. i must get definitely a not only just a that should be nearly 90 95 a but they get people b pass then we apply for the recorrections but still the result is the same what's the reason behind these people they don't know the errors they have done these kind of people steps they don't know the marks for the steps they get then people recorrection again the same thing answers coming but no marks so therefore steps are very important so then in order to identify the steps people we must do more sums and while we do more sums we have to huh? i am i can do that one people uh, because all the marking scheme I got and I know what are the important steps in working out a question. We have to show those important steps. Okay. Then uh, once you do the work with me, people, you will, get, uh, you will get this idea automatically. So therefore, no need to afraid about that. Okay. All right. So then uh, that fact is very important. That is why people, 
we must write the term test at schools. And not only that people, fortunately, if we can start the physical classes, right? One year before your A-level examination people, every week in physical class of people, we have a paper class. In that paper class, during three hours, you must write a paper. So far in the past history people, we did like that. Unfortunately, for 2020 batch and 2021 batch, we couldn't do like that because of this pandemic situation. But I think people for 2023 onwards, we can uh, do as we did earlier, right? So once we write like that people like 40, 50 papers, people automatically, you will come to the rhythm. Then of course, just you have to go to a real examination because you know everything, right? You have every experience and people just you have to go there and write and come, that's all. Okay, so therefore, uh, that is very important writing papers. Right, that part is over now, people. Now we'll come to the next part. Okay, next part is given. Next, you'll see the sign rule for the triangle ADC. Ah, by ADC triangle, now we write. By ADC. ADC triangle people, you can write. Right. Now uh, you can write people this angle. Now in this case, we are asking uh, AC, right? AC is this and AD. Involving AC and AD, we need AC divided by AD ratio only we need there. So therefore, when we apply the sign rule to the triangle ACD, we have to make sure to involve only that two sides, right? So then AC, when we take, we need this angle, people. This angle, you can write, sum of these three angles is, people, 180. From that 180, 20 plus alpha, or oh, alpha plus 20 angle we have, then this angle is going to be 180 degrees minus sum of these two, 20 degrees plus alpha. Hmm? Right. Then we can write AC divided by sine hmm? this angle 180 minus 20 plus alpha. Right. Equals AD divided by here. Yeah? 80 divided by sine of this angle, 80 divided by sine alpha. But we need the AC by AD. People now, suppose this 20 plus alpha angle I keep as one angle, say theta. Right? One angle theta. So then this takes the form what? Sine 180 minus theta. People, what is sine 180 minus theta? It is sine theta. So therefore, sine 180 minus this angle means what people? Sine this angle. Then we get AC divided by sine 20 plus alpha equals AD divided by sine alpha. Then by using the cross multiplication here, bring this layer here. This way here, uh, we get AC divided by AD equals the required answer we get now sine 20 plus alpha divided by sine alpha. This is how we people take that second answer. Here also, I'll explain the marks distribution here. Yeah. Applying the sign rule to the triangle, 10 marks given. And obtaining people, on this way, we get another five marks. Okay. Right. 
right now uh, people ask in deduce that deduce that people deduce means true hmm? true or oh, obtain hmm? right true or oh, obtain using the result we had so far that is the meaning of deduce right okay now people uh, when we hear some informations finally when we analyze as a whole finally we can come to a particular decision no that decision based on what the information now we have the informations what are the informations this is the first information this is the second information once you combine them together what the final result we can take to this only people we write we say what deduce deduce means based on the results so far you have obtained the next answer given that's the meaning of deduce so now this deduction can easily be done people here in the question we are given this ab and ad are equal hmm? given that given that ab equals ad this is given in the question paper then this ab we subject by the first result take this ab to this side then 2 cos 40 to this side and ad how to subject people hmm? bring the sin alpha here ad here sin 20 plus alpha here then substitute for this ab and ad by subjecting like that then keep simplifying you get the next answer you get the next answer right yeah but what is people ab hmm? ac divided by 2 cos 40 ab equals ab equals ac divided by 2 cos 40 what is ad ac sin alpha I bring this AD to this side. By AC, by sine alpha, we multiply this side. What do we get? AC sine alpha. Here I wrote. And you have to bring this to left hand side denominator. Then under this AC sine alpha only, this sine 20 plus alpha we will have. Like this, huh? AC sine alpha divided by sine 20 plus alpha. This is your AD. Now people substitute for this AB and AD from these answers and keep simplifying this. Then you get the next answer too. Hmm? Therefore, what do you get people? Therefore, right? This AB, AC upon 2 cos 40. Equals this AD, AC. Sin alpha divided by sin 20 plus alpha. Then this AC and this you can cancel down. Here we get one after canceling. Then what is asking to say there? Right. Sin 20 plus alpha, right? Bring this sin 20 plus alpha to this end and this 2 cos 40 to this end. Right? So then we get people that next answer, right? What do you get? Sin 20 plus alpha comes here and then bring this 2 cos 40 into sin alpha. Two cos 40 into sin alpha. This is how we take that answer. Okay, no? This AB is equal to AD given in the question people. A, B, and A, D are equal. I have marked that also in the diagram. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Now, this time the marks uh, when I analyze people hmm? that uh, getting uh, this uh, A, B equals A, D relation. Hmm? Right. A, B equals A, D relation. And uh, getting up to this 
final answer we get only yeah this is my marks and write in this way my marks right now next part is smart people what's next part hmm? next part is hence show that cot alpha this answer cot alpha right yeah asking another question uh, so we can prove it by saying a b equals a d so that a c a d and get down yeah correct right okay now people next one asking this way hence show that cot alpha is this hence show that cot alpha is this all right to get that answer what we do is this people hence means really people remember whenever you find the word hence or definitely the previous result you obtained must be used to take the answer hence means that if you have hence or otherwise that occasion people without using the result so far you have as an answer you can go another alternative method but my recommendation is people some occasions hence or otherwise when you have people going through the hence way that means using the result you have already getting the answer is much easier without going through another alternative method understand right okay now hence right i'll give you the method of getting the next answer okay now people here expand this this is uh, 20 you can assume as capital a angle alpha has capital b angle this is now sin a plus b you seen sin a plus b expand that people what is sin a plus b formula sin a cos b plus cos c sin b expand that right yeah then i am going to use that Sine two into plus alpha is equal to two cos fourteen to sine alpha. Then this is uh, your a angle. This is your b angle. Sine a plus b. What is that, people? Sine a cos b plus cos c sine b. Right now, sine a means sine twenty. Sine a cos b plus cos c sin b means sin alpha right equals to cos 40 into sin alpha we will we need to take the answer for cot alpha then what we do is since cot alpha is cos alpha divided by sin alpha what we do is people we divide both sides by sin alpha divide both sides by sin alpha that means in the left hand side is two terms and on the right hand side this term right we have divided by sin alpha all right when you do like that what do you get sin 20 divide into cos alpha divide by sin alpha hmm? i divided this by sin alpha Cos twenty into sine alpha divided by sine alpha. Two cos forty sine alpha divided by sine alpha. In this we can cancel down. Here cos alpha by sine alpha cot alpha. 
sin 20 times cot alpha. People now take this to right hand side. Then over there on the right hand side, we have 2 cos 40 minus cos 20. Right. Then people subject cot alpha dividing the right hand side by this. 2 cos 40 minus cos 20 divided by sine 20. Sine 20, no? Right. That one we got. 2 cos 40 minus cos 20 divided by sine 20. This is the answer. Right. People now here we get marks like this. Expansion of the sine A plus B and getting this step, we get five marks, right? And uh, getting the final answer, this one, five marks. Then uh, in the middle simplification, of course, no marks. That's how we get marks up to there. Okay, now ask another part, people. Ask another part, what is that? Now using the result in one above, what is that people? Can you remember, we obtain one result like this. What is that result? Very first part of this question. We obtain something like this. People, this two, cos 60 minus theta minus cos theta divided by sin theta is equal to root 3. People there, you can see we are given, this is true, but this relation, this left hand side is equal to root 3 is true for any angle theta which is in between 0 and 90. For any acute angle of this theta, this left hand side, this expression, people equal root 3, equal root 3. That means you can substitute people any angle for this theta here, here, and here between 0 and 90, right? Between 0 and 90, any angle you can put for this places of theta. For any angle, when you simplify this left hand side people, right, that answer is equal to root 3. Now we are asked to use this result to show the angle alpha as 30 degrees. Hmm? The angle alpha as 30 degrees. People, now once I use here, right, since this theta in this left hand side, is any angle between 0 and 90, I can put any angle for this theta, which is in between 0 and 90, because we have proved that now. Then I am going to put for this theta 20. Hmm? Huh? Let's put theta equals 20. Any angle between 0 and 90, we can put for this theta in this result. Then what do you get? 2 cos 60 minus 20, it's 40 minus cos 20 divided by sine 20 is what people root 3. But what is this? This is the one people here we have. Here, yeah. 2 cos 40 minus cos 20 divided by sine 20. Therefore, this thing is root 3. Huh? Therefore, you can write, hence, right, cot alpha is root 3. Cot alpha is root 3 people. Cot alpha means people 1 upon tan alpha, no? 1 upon tan alpha is equal to root 3. Root 3 means root 3 by 1. Then taking the reciprocal, you can write tan alpha is equal to 1 upon root 3. Tan alpha 1 upon root 3 means people alpha is what? 30. Alpha is 30 degrees, alpha is 30 degrees.
understood right yeah that's how we take that answer right people now getting this one five marks given obtain quartile five as root five another five marks given and for this alpha 30 five marks given this is how we get the marks see here the past two question people it contains nice rhythm uh, one after one we proved but there's a link from the beginning to end so that is the most of the time the property of the examination question the smooth flow when we can see there hmm? right okay now we're interested of doing this kind of question paper answers are coming right for the next answer we can use the previous answer we obtained right that rhythm usually available in a past paper question right now we'll uh, come to the last part asking to write people what solve the equation uh, part b solve the equation solve the equation mean people we have to find the general solution because that x only we need to find there but x is an angle there that means we have to find the general solution of that equation right okay right now people we can write that Okay. The next part is this paper cos 4x plus sin 4x part B. Cos 4x plus sin 4x is equal to cos 2x plus sin 2x. People, we need to find this x. X means now an angle. That means angle we have to find. Whenever we need to find the angle involving in a trigonometric equation, people, there we have to write the what? General solutions. General solutions. We have to write the general solutions. Right. So now what I do here is, people, I bring this cos 2x to this side, sine 4 x to this side, right? Uh, then we get right cos 4x minus cos 2x sine 2x minus sine 4x. Okay, right. people now consider this one as your angle C this one as your angle D. Then to the left hand side, you can apply cos C minus cos B formula. To the right hand side, if we take this as your C, this as your D, this is sine C minus sine D. Apply here cos C minus cos B. People can remember the cos C minus cos B formula. Hmm? Cos C minus cos B is what? Two sine C plus D by two. Huh? sine d minus c by 2, no? Hmm? Cos c minus cos b formula. Hmm? Hmm? 2 sine c plus d divided by 2 sine d minus c divided by 2. Okay, apply that here. 2 sin first add at this angles 4x and 2x hmm? right people right 4x and 2x is 6x that should be divided by 2 then 3x right right and sign d minus c divided by 2. d minus c means what? 2x minus 4x minus 2x divided by 2 minus 6. Right. 
sin c minus sin d formula what is that people It is 2 cos c plus d divided by 2, right, sin c minus d divided by 2, sin c minus sin d formula is this, right, yeah, then apply here 2 cos at this angle, 2x plus 4x people 6x divided by 2, 3x. Right, and next one is people sign. Take this difference: two x minus four x minus two x divided by two minus six. Right, people, this two and this two you can cancel down. But whenever we find the general solution, people do we cancel down the expressions involved in that x? No, we don't cancel down that people. We said when we cancel down like that, what happens? We you lose. Huh? We lose people one set of solution. Right. Then what I do next is people this. You know, this sine minus x. You know, sine minus theta people what? We learned as minus sine theta. Then this minus sign you can take out. That minus sign I can keep here. Hmm. Here, this minus cos 3x sine x. Then, this minus sine also I can cancel down. Hmm. Then, bring this right hand side terms to what left hand side? Sine 3x into sine x. Once I bring this, this left hand side, we get the term as minus cos 3x sin x. Now on the right hand side people, no value available that is 0. No value available that is 0. Then you can take here sin x out. Sin x is common. Once I take sine x out here, this is sine three x minus cos three x equals zero. Now this multiplied by this product equals zero means this implies people either this sine x zero or sine three x minus cos three x equals zero. Right. Now you can write the general solution for this. Hmm? How do I write the general solution for sine x equals 0? Sine x equals 0 means people, you can write the right hand side 0 as sine 0, then x equals n pi plus minus 1 to the power n times this angle 0. This is zero people, no? Then we get x equals n pi. X equals n pi. There, definitely must write this n is an integer. Secondly, this one I can take. Sin 3x minus cos 3x equals zero. We will be divide this by cos 3x. Now cos 3x not equal to 0. We have to mention that cos 3x not equal to 0. Right. We divide both sides by cos 3x. Then here, sin 3x divided by cos 3x minus cos 3x divided by cos 3x is this is 1 equals 0. Sin by cos is 10 tan 3x, bring this one to right hand side, that is plus 1. Then we can try the general solution here, people. 
This one you can write as tan 45. Tan 3x is equal to tan 5 by 4. People we know when we have tan, tan equality, how to write the hmm, general solution, right? It is now this angle 3x is equal to n pi plus this right hand side angle, but we have subject x divided by 3. 3x divided by 3 means triple x. Here n pi should be divided by 3. When we divide this pi divided by 4 by another 3, then this 5 will have been divided by 4 and 3 both, then we get 5 by 12. Here also n is any integer that you must definitely write. Hmm? All right, then people here, when I explain the Marx distribution, Taking this step, y marks, and people apply CD formulae for this and this y marks coming for each, right? And factorizing like this, people we get y marks, right? And Right. And we get people this one five marks and this one five marks. Right. And the general solutions write in tan 3x equals what this one. This is five marks. Right. And people write in here this cos 3x not equal to 0. This one given five marks, very important one. Hmm? When you divide by cos 3x, write in this cos 3x not equal to zero, five marks given. Why people? The reason is what? When you divide something by zero, we know the answers are meaningless. I have told this before this many times, right? So therefore, mentioning that device the cos 3x not equal to zero in the marking scheme, five marks given, right? And finally, people, this answers, we must write this also, right? Uh, we get five marks here for this general solution, including this, writing this a correct answer for x, another five marks given. Hmm? Right, and writing this tan 3x equals five marks that we have written, no? Yeah, this is how we get the marks finally, people. Okay, that is the end of the question. But people, we took nearly one hour and 15 minutes to work out this question, but definitely you should do this question within 27 minutes, understood? Hmm? Within 27 minutes at the examination, you should be able to do this question. People, possible, not even 27 minutes we take when you practice this, within 15 minutes we can work out the question, at the most 20 minutes. After that, people, we have to practice. That will be okay, people, with another, uh, with the experience we get in the future, and you will uh, go to the examination after uh, like uh, 22 months from today, no, people? Now almost uh, October end, no? right? August, September, October end. That means three months, people, out of 24 months, another 21 months, you have to do examination. Remember, <laughs> 21 months, right? Yeah, okay. That is people our uh, 17 question, right. Now uh, we'll move to people the last year examination question, 2020 question, hmm? right. 2020 question, that also people I put to the group. That's very easy question people, right. Uh, those who have that question at the moment, please read that. Uh, for others, I'll write it question on the board.
and and people uh, last uh, recording uh, last thursday i think I, I did the class because of last monday i was unable to do because of the data issue uh, last thursday people without any restriction i think everybody could watch the recording but uh, fourth monday recording people now when you need to watch the recording if the recording has no permission people you have to follow this process most of the students they were unable to uh, do that way the first thing is this people you have to send me your email address right put that through whatsapp to me then what i do with your email i take your email and i put that there in the zoom then as a user you will be registered once i put your gmail or email address there people you will get to that email address people one message in that message there is a link once you click that link people right you have to fill something right your name and everything something you have to fill then send it then uh, that process is called as activate your zoom account people activation of zoom account means people nothing will happen only thing is people your zoom account is under my zoom account that means every information from me from my account i can put to you so therefore that is called as a activation of zoom then once you send it people right now you are okay then what we do is now i am going to put you the link of our recording once you get that recording to your whatsapp that is coming so therefore you have to always see your email messages and whatsapp messages to your whatsapp number people i am going to give you that link of the recording there are also the link when you click people a certain form you have to fill once you fill that and send me then people i can see you are now requesting to watch the recording then i must give you the permission so then i am going to what give you the permission i up to you once i up to you people again you get the email email message is coming to you and that email message uh, include the thing there now you can you have the permission to watch that's all the process okay so therefore the first thing is you have to send me your email address so secondly i have to uh, register you as a user so now registering you you get a email message in that there is a form fill that and send me then secondly people i'll give you the link to your whatsapp click that link and fill that also then once it send people i can see you are now requesting to watch the recording so then i have to approve that once i approve people you get again another email saying now you have the permission so that is the process right so then uh, several times i tried to give you this idea uh, but i couldn't do that one now you know the process okay so there are of course uh, you can't watch those recordings people if you don't do these steps only three or four students they were able to do this process and now they are watching the recording right the guys uh, they need this recording for them today recording also people i am going to do like that right Uh, and you know so far we didn't do like that over uh, april may june july august september over six months people i didn't do any thing like this right uh, because of the people the situation was very bad now in the past hmm? every we are curfew uh, parent can't go to work no income uh, many many issues uh, people in that case people we must be very flexible then uh, everybody could uh, watch what that recording but people there is a particular limit no for everything right so therefore that's why i did like this okay right uh, if somebody couldn't understand this one people uh, uh, send me your gmail first is that right ha huh? uh, your gmail address or email address whatever it is send me right that is first step then i register you as a user right once i register you to the email address you have already provided to me you get message 
that message there will be a link or something you get once you click that link people you get uh, something to fill that uh, asking your name and your email address and some some questions are asking people now fill it and ask him to activate your zoom account you have to actually yes or you have to agree with that i agree to activate your zoom account that is the final question ask him there then click that and send me right that's first step after that people to your group already soon after the class after processing the recording in the zoom only i get that link that link soon after processing that i'll put to the group after doing that set thing only now you have to click that link available in the recording there are also people you will get particular form to fill fill that and send me then i'll get uh, something you are requesting to watch the recording there i have to approve that if i don't approve that you can't watch that if i approve people then you will get again email message to your email not the whatsapp email another message that you have the permission to watch the recording then you can watch the recording that's the process okay right now 2020 question is this people the last year question right uh, shall we take down the question there right this also under question number 17 hmm? very easy question people 17 part a this question is coming in any paper people as the last question as the last question right as the last question right the question is this 17 part a write down sign a minus b in terms of in terms of sign a comma cos a comma cos b uh, comma sign b and cos b Reduce that. Reduce that. First one. Sin 90 minus theta. Sin 90 minus theta. Hmm? Cos theta. And number two. 2 sin 10 equals cos 20 minus root 3 sin 20. That's the part E, right? Part E is this. And now the part B people, part B. In the usual notation, in the usual notation, state the sign rule. for a triangle ABC. And then people, we have another diagram. Is that diagram? Hmm? 
here 80 a b c d this is alpha this is 20 Right. Now the question is this, in the triangle, in the triangle, capital ABC shown in the figure, Come on, ABC angle, 80 degrees and ACB angle, 20 degrees. The point capital D, lies on BC. Such that AB equals DC lit ADB angle alpha. Right. Next one, using the sign rule, using the sign rule. For suitable triangles, for suitable triangles, Show that. Show that. Bad people are right at the top again. Suitable triangles show that sin 80 into sin alpha minus 20 equals sin 20 into sin alpha. Next one. Asking this, explain why sin eighty is equal to cos ten, and hence show that. Tan alpha is equal to 
sin 20 divided by cos 20 minus 2 sin 10. Next one. Using the result in simply two above, deduce that alpha equals thirty. Well, uh, when you read this question, you can see uh, this question is very similar to the previous question, 2017 question we did. Even this uh, property, this uh, feature or this uh, sign we have in the sense of people. Now, uh, this question uh, we can, that is why I took this question, 17 question and this 20 question. 17 question, we had a diagram like this and applied sign rule. There we had been given the uh, triangles also to which we have to apply the sign rule, but this time we're using suitable triangles. Asking to apply the sign rule. See the question, uh, the both questions people have the same rhythm. People, this property I said to our 2020 students, what? Definitely work out last 15 years past paper questions before you see the 2020 examination. I said several times this to the student. People like this, we can see in other lessons or other questions also people, very, very questions were there in 2020 year, those questions are very similar to the past year, past paper questions, past year questions in that lesson. Right? Now, this is a nice example you can draw. This question and 17 question, people, there are some similarities. So, if you can manage very easily the 17 question, people, this question also very easily, we can uh, of course, work out. Or else people now suppose uh, uh, if somebody has done 17 question and he went to uh, 20 examination, then once he uh, see this question at once people, he get nice idea because similar question I have done in year 17. So then from that people, you have a good motivation, a glad nature. With the glad nature only now you start the question people. Then of course, there is more chance to get the last answers. Right? Okay, so therefore, you also, you have to take this one thoroughly to your mind. Before going to the AOL examination, your 2023 examination, at least last 15 years, papers, definitely do people. Then your examination questions, most of the questions will be there. Not as the same, but very close questions. Understand? Right. So this year also, 2021 also, I said to the student like that. Why people, you know, no student go out and learn. Everybody learning uh, online people. You know, everybody has no people, this online facility. Right? So therefore, people, the papers will be set. How? Those, they can manage at least the 15 past papers, people. They can very easily work out the questions in the 2021. So that rhythm is this time also available. Okay? Right. Right. So now, uh, that is the Right. Another one part is there, people. Part C is the next. Right. Part C. Uh, I raised this one, people. Part C. Part C. Solve the equation. Form solve the equation. Tan inverse cos squared x plus tan inverse sin x is equal to pi by 4. So, all means people we have to find x. This x is really an angle. Then, since this x is an angle, and asking to find this x means people, we have to find the general solution for x. General solution for x. Understood people? Right, okay. Then uh, part A, I think you can very easily do. I'll give you five minutes, people. I'll give you five minutes. Try this part A in the question 
I think everybody can take that. So that's very easy part. Okay, right. Uh, I'll give you five minutes. Try this question paper. Asking people they are to write. Huh? It's a 2020 question, all right? Uh, part D, you know? Yeah. Write down sign A minus B. Hmm? People, sign A minus B formula, you know. What is that? Sign A cos B minus cos A sine B. Reduce that. Right, part one. It use that sine nine point theta is cos theta, right, people? Then we write, we take hmm? first one. Let a here ninety. This a and b people into angles, no? Right, we can put for this a ninety, and this b theta. For the angle b, we can put theta. Then see what to. What we get in the left hand side? Sin A is 90, B is theta. Right. Then there we get what people? Hmm? Sin 90 cos theta minus cos 90 sin theta. Because sin 90 is you know 1, cos 90 is 0. Zero into this product is this whole thing is zero. This is cos theta. One into cos theta is cos theta. Hmm? Then we get sine 90 minus theta is cos theta. First answer we got. And we will now the marks come in like this. Write in this uh, sine A minus B formula like this 10 marks here. Hmm? And select in the angles this way and write in this five marks and get in this one other five marks. That is first part. Second part. Second part, people. Hmm? Do sine 10. Do sine 10. This sine 10, I can try it. Hmm? 10, you can write people. Write in this A as 30 and B as 20. Hmm? When you write for this A, here. 30, for this B I put 20. Then again, we expand this how people, A minus B of sine, sine A minus B. You see, you can expand that, hmm? right. Then we can write to here, sine 30, cos 20 minus cos 30 sin 20. Sin 30 people, we can write uh, it is half now. Cos 30 people, root 3 by 2 sin 20. Now people, you know, when I multiply this bracket by this two, this two come in, that two and this two will cancel off. Similarly, once we take this two to multiply this term, that two and this two will cancel off. Then what will happen finally? This two's inside the bracket and this two will eliminate, no? Yeah, then we can cancel down them like this. Then we get the answer. cos 20 minus root 3 sine 20. 
That is how we take that answer. At selecting the SAP people, five marks given. Hmm? Expansion of this, another five marks given. Getting the final answer, five marks given. First two parts are huh? okay now. Right now. So then, so far, you have obtained people. How many? What's the total mark? How much of mark here? 10, 10, 20, and 15, 35 marks, right? 35 marks you obtained, right? Right. Right. Right, people now, in this case, uh, asking a question, uh, sign can i consider sign 10 as cos 80 and reduce a minus uh, people if you go like that uh, uh, there's an issue because in the question you are given after writing the sign a minus b deduce deduce means using that result only you have to take the answer if you go on other way uh, that might be reason not to get the full marks so therefore deduce and hence what we have to very carefully follow hmm? right Right, people. Now, go to the next part. Go to the next part. Now, you are given next one. In the usual notation, state sign rule for a triangle. Hmm? Usual notation, state sign rule for a triangle. Triangle is ABC. You know, yeah. Triangle ABC, right? So then, sign rule when you write paper, first draw the triangle there. Subject to the usual notation A, B, C. This is your A angle, B angle, C angle. Simple A, simple B, simple C. Sign rule what people? A by sign A equals B by sign B equals C by sign C. This is sign rule. Right? There are people you are given 10 marks. See here, 10 marks given. One is for this triangle. This one, another five marks. 10 marks given. 10 marks given for that, yeah. Now read the next part, people. In the triangle ABC shown in the figure, ABC 80 degrees, is it between T, yeah. Right. The diagram is this people. Uh, So A, B, C, D. This is uh, 80 degrees, angle alpha, 20 degrees. A, B, D, C are equal people. A, B is this, D, C is this. Using the sign rule for suitable triangles. This time, people, we are not given 
to what triangles we must apply the sign rule to take this answer right so that is the only thing compared to that uh, 17 question and this right if somebody has done the 17 question people no need to really given what the triangles to which we have to apply what sign rule understood okay hmm. all right so then we can take the sign rule first one by asking people to get the answer for yeah okay we will take it like this by abd triangle we can apply right This way we apply people by AB triangle, AB divided by sine alpha equals AD divided by sine AD. No, right. by AB triangle like that we apply AB divided by sine alpha. AB divided by sine alpha is equal to AD divided by sine AD. Okay. People by this will subject AD. Use the cross multiplication to this end. The AD equals what? AB sine AD. Divide by sine alpha. Okay. Right. Secondly, we take by ACD triangle by ACD triangle. This is the ACD triangle, ACD triangle. People, this angle is 20. This is alpha. Then what should be this angle? If we take this angle as theta, 20 plus theta is equal to alpha. 20 plus theta is equal to alpha. What is the reason, people? Sum of the two interior opposite angles in the triangle is equal to the angle, exterior angle. Huh? We get by producing the side. That kind of theory, theorem you have learned in your oils. Hmm? Yeah, so thereby people, you can subject this theta, taking this, this side, what do you get? Alpha minus 20, this. Right. So now we apply sine rule like this. AD divided by sine 20 equals CD divided by sine of this alpha minus 20. Hmm? AD divided by sine 20. Okay. AD divided by sine 20 is equal to CD divided by sine alpha minus 20. From this also, we subject AD using the cross multiplication. This way, CD sine 20 divided by sine alpha minus 20. Now, people, the same AD here, we have found in two ways. Then we can equate them. There, people get the hint when we need to take this kind of answer. What is the strategy we have to apply there? The method we have to apply there, right? So this uh, method, people, at once you want to get to your mind. To get this method, people, you must do more sums. So therefore, in this case, the method I used by using this both triangles A, B, D, and A, C, D, by applying sine rule, I subjected this A, D, the two answers for A, D we have. Since this A, D, are equal the right hand side must be equal then you can write the for therefore we can write this a b sine 80 divided by 
sin alpha is equal to cd sin 20 divided by sin alpha minus 20. Even you are given this AB and this CD. Okay, AB and CD are equal. Therefore, you can cancel down these two. Right? Now, people, thereby you can take this answer. Hmm? Use the cross multiplication this way and this way. It is sine 80. Times sine alpha minus 20 equals sine 20 into sine alpha. This is how we take that answer. Now let's see, people, the marks here. Yeah, uh, the marks come in like this. Apply and sign rule and subject in this it like this 10 marks. Here also 10 marks. And equating these two and simplifying and getting this answer, five marks. Five marks coming. That is okay now. Okay. Explain uh, why sine 80 is equal to cos 10. Sine 80 is equal to cos 10. Yeah. People, we proved sine 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. This we have proved, no people. Huh? Hmm? Proved. This theta is people any angle. Right. We put theta ten. Then what do we get? Sine ninety minus ten. It's eighty equals cos ten. This is how we take. Right. Explain why sine eighty is equal to cos ten. A question is asking if we prove it in another way. Correct. But we have to give the reason. We have to give the reason. Explain why. In this case, we have given the reason because we have proved this. Without using, if you go to another method to show this answer, there you have to clearly explain the reason. Clearly explain the reason. OK? Right. OK, now and hence show that tan alpha this. And hence show that tan alpha this. All right. So then what we do is this people. Hence show that mean people. Definitely a previous result should be used now to take the answer. Then to show this answer people, the result we can use is this. All right. Now I start from here. Using this one. Sine 80 times sine alpha minus 20 equals sine 20 sine alpha. Huh? Even this sine 80, since we have put it as cos 10, I can write this sine 80 as cos 10. Right? And now you can people expand this sine alpha minus 20 as sine a minus b hmm? sine alpha cos 20 minus cos alpha sine 20 is equal to people sine 20 you can write how people how to write your sine 20 using sine 2a formula how to write sine 20 to sine 10 cos 10 understood right sine 2a formula you know in the morning 
in the previous question also we used this sin 2 is 2 sin a cos c hmm? then this sin 2 and 2 i can write people how 2 sin 10 cos 10 using this 2 sin 10 cos 10 right and then we get 2 sin 10 into cos 10 into sin alpha into sin alpha then you can very clearly see here this cos 10 you can cancel down with this cos 10 on the right hand side what is the ask question asking there right okay now tan alpha asking right to get the tan alpha people we'll divide this by what ah, we'll divide both sides by cos alpha cos alpha not equal to zero we divide by cos alpha it is not equal to zero right so then uh, why do we divide this with the cos alpha people we have to form tan alpha tan alpha is coming tan alpha is equal to sin alpha by cos alpha now no. so therefore the left hand side two terms this and this both we divide by cos alpha and this also we divide by cos alpha hmm? yeah then what do you get sin alpha divided by cos alpha times cos 20 and here when you divide by cos alpha cos alpha divided by cos alpha sin 20 here 2 sin 10 sin alpha divided by cos alpha right then we'll see what happens Here this cos alpha and this cos alpha you can cancel down here sine by cos tan alpha here also sine by cos tan alpha then here we get cos 20 times tan alpha here minus sine 20 is equal to people but here 2 sine 10 sine by cos tan 2 sin 10 times tan alpha right now bring people this tan alpha right hand side this term to this left hand side take this to right hand side then we get people cos 20 tan alpha minus when we bring this to this side, that will be minus no? 2 sine 10 tan alpha takes right hand side, sine 20. Take this tan alpha out. Once you take this tan alpha out, people, here this is cos 20. Minus 2 sine 10 is equal to sine 20. By this now you can subject this tan alpha to get this answer asking hmm? right so then we get tan alpha therefore you get people tan alpha is equal to sine 20 divided by cos 20 minus 2 sine 10. There are the marks coming like this. People here we had the cos 10, no? Here we had sin 80, no? Writing for the sin 80, this cos 10, people five marks given. And right in this year, we had sine 20, no? Right in that sine 20 as 2 sine 10 cos 10, 5 marks given. 
Hmm? The sine 20 only written here as 2 sine 10 cos 10, 5 marks given. Right, and for the sine 80, this cos 10, another 5 marks given. Right. And people uh, to this step, right? 5 marks given. And for the final answer, another 5 marks given. In here, cos 10, right, 5 marks correct, no? Yeah. Now, what is next part? What's next part? Using the result in A2, about deduce that alpha 30. Hmm? All right. Let's see how to take that. Right, okay. Now, uh, people buy a second part above. We proved two sine 10 is equal to what people? Cos 20. Minus root 3 sine 20. We proved this, no? This we proved. But this 2 sine 10 here available in this answer. Therefore, this place of 2 sine 10, we substitute this right hand side. Then we can write, therefore, therefore, tan alpha is equal to sine 20 divided by cos 20 minus, right, open a bracket, substitute for 2 sin 10, 2 sin 10 is this now, cos 20 minus root 3 sin 20. Then once remove the bracket, we get minus cos 20, this and this you can cancel down, minus and minus make plus people. Then we get tan alpha tan alpha is equal to sine 20 divided by root 3 minus minus plus root 3 sine 20. Hmm? 